Hey, attention crypto gossipators, things are about to get interesting. Remember, not financial advice. Hey guys, what is up? Hope everyone is doing well. Hope everyone's having an amazing day because I am as usual, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. So, guys, of course, we have peaked. We have reached a very, very top point of the chart, right? When I open up the one-year chart, of course, if I open up the old chart, it is going to be dwarfed by the previous all-time high. But now we are seeing drops, right? And there are going to be a lot of questions, right? Such as, is this the end of cryptos? Should we panic? Should, you know, should I even delete my channel because it's done? That's it. Cryptos will never go up. I, I know it sounds very dramatic, but some people take it to that extent. But guess what, guys? We have some answers to this. And thank God uh, that Watcher Guru actually covers these type of questions because they know what the sentiment is. They understand that people are going to be questioning a lot and they will need to actually look for these answers. So, ladies and gentlemen, you see this dip? You see this going down? Relax, relax, okay? I'm going to have to explain a few things to you. What is going on right now? So, big headline we have here. Why are Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and cryptocurrency market falling today? Okay, and just in general, we could apply it, you know, to the next few days as well. So Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and the general cryptocurrency market have fa uh, faced a significant correction in the last day. Bitcoin has fallen 7.5%. Doge, obviously, 10.5%. And uh, the cryptocurrency, well, market cap has fallen 6.2%. So everything is kind of dipping. Um, and you're thinking, well... Why? Why is it going down? I mean, what is the issue here? Shouldn't it have like just carried on going up? And um, I mean, is this even a normal thing? Should we expect this? So the latest correction could be due to the U.S. economic data released on Thursday. U.S. inflation for February took a turn, rising to 3.2%. The latest CPI data marks a change from the previous downward trend. Core CPI, excluding the volatility, energy, and food costs, also rose 0.3%. High inflation may have spooked investors. Moreover, high inflation data will likely cause the Federal Reserve to push back on interest rate cuts. The markets were expecting 150 basis points rate cut in the early 2024. However, the latest data does not support a rate cut just yet. Okay, so there's a lot of economic data that is happening. Um, and this is going to cause some small, you know, uh, pullbacks, pull downs, call it whatever you want, but you understand the whole point is that there will be these little shifts that go down because, you know, investors react to this. But does this paint the full picture? Does this explain to us, you know, what we should be doing right now? Absolutely not. At the end of the day, you know, you have your plans, you stick to your plans, you know that you are here you know, for the long-term gains, for what is to come with the altcoin season. So although it might affect you emotionally where you are seeing these drops uh, like this here, ladies and gentlemen, who cares? Who cares? This is normal crypto activity. You're going to see corrections. You're going to see pullbacks. You're not always going to be going up. You're just going to have to accept it. Not everything is 100% perfect. This isn't like some sort of Algorithm just that just, you know, pulls up, 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 and nothing can stop it. There are many external factors. You know, there's a lot of buying, selling pressure. There's economic data, uh, regulations, and so on. So you are going to see it fluctuate up and down. These are the healthy environments. I would be very surprised if it never actually went down. That would be, in my opinion, very strange. And I'd be thinking, well, is something being manipulated here? Because at the end of the day, I'm expecting... A healthy crypto market, right? He healthy crypto charts. And that's what they look like, ups and downs. And, you know, if as you narrow it down, you can see it here. You know, it goes in waves. And maybe it, it can break through some support lines and resistance lines. But it will eventually consolidate because the interest here is very high. The volume, 
you know, is going to stabilize. Yes, you're not going to be seeing 13 billion, but guys, nor I don't think you're going to be seeing 100 million because there's a lot more interest right now. And everybody is trying to load up on their bags. Simple as that. Everybody's waking up. Everybody's talking about cryptos. News channels are uh, talking about cryptos. Influencers are making more videos than ever and going deeper into it. There is a lot of talk right now in regards to cryptos. And wait till the big names, you know, start really covering it. I mean, like, you know, just influencers from every industry. So, um, I mean, if I was to just wrap it up and tell you why it goes down, I mean, I mean, apart from the economic data and from just normal crypto activity, look, I'll just install a little chip in your mindset. Guys, you should be thinking, who cares? Who gives a damn about this? I don't care. I don't care that it drops, you know, 10, 20%. It doesn't affect me in any way because I'm sticking until the end. I want to make the money. I want to be rich. I want to retire early, right? Wake up and, and start being rational and realistic. You got to write down a plan. You know, I got a piece of paper here. I make a lot of notes. I'm writing down a plan, this, this, that. You can do that as well and just look at your plan. Focus on the plan. Stop looking at these little candles there, you know, these uh, tiny charts. I love the people that look at one-hour charts. I mean, come on, grow up. This is such a big rookie mistake. What are you, a day trader? Come on, man. And another important thing that needs to be mentioned here, that these moves can be caused by anything, 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 anything. Right now, economic data, tomorrow it's a whale, the, the day after some regulation, four days later, maybe some other announcement or some tweet by, I don't know, Elon Musk or whatever. So are you really going to be really caring about these, you know, these type of movements? I mean, this is cheap stuff, cheap stuff. All you should care about is the bull run, the bull run. Install it in your heads, put it on your walls, you know, put some posters, whatever it, it takes to keep it, keep you focused. I'm going to keep you focused and I'm going to keep you as motivated as possible as well, okay? I know it's my duty. I may not be, you know, the most intelligent crypto holder out there that can just give you a lot of uh, insight in terms of numbers and code and stuff. Yeah, there are there are actually influencers like that that go so deep into it. But it also gets um, the viewers a little bit bored because the average holder out there just wants the basic, simple info. And that's where I come. I give you the simple, basic info and I show you the the green light, okay, and the light at the end of the tunnel, rather than fudding and trying to create a viewership from FUD. Yes, I could actually make videos right now and say, well, you know, the devs, they haven't done this, they haven't looked there, blah, 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 blah. Mm, you know what? Sometimes you also have to keep your heads high, held high and you have to understand that the bull run does not listen to anyone. The bull run just takes everyone up without their permission, <laughs> okay? So, what can I say? We saw drops, but it's fine. Keep pushing, keep going. Don't stop. And most importantly, guys, a big, big thank you to everyone. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you turn that notifications bell on. And as usual, guys, I will see you in my next video. Peace out.